All right, I'm at the commencement of probably about part five of this video, my visitation to the uh, Jerome Cemetery, and I'm just at the gate. It is about 9 a.m. on Wednesday, the 12th of May, 2021. And I pray God's blessings upon everybody. I thank you all for viewing or traveling with me, and here we go. Entering into the gate. Rocks and cacti everywhere. Oops. Hey, if you can get these shadows, get me not in in there. Look at that. Cactus everywhere. In the town of Jerome way up there and then a little seating area now I wonder if people come up here this is really awesome now there was a young man who came up here and he just plain disappeared I don't know where he is I haven't seen any trails but that's okay if a person is familiar with this the lay of the land let him go it's so peaceful up here so here's a little area that people maybe come and do picnics. Well, I don't know what the purpose of this thing is. Let's see if we're going to come upon their graves everywhere. Let's see who this is. Oh my goodness. Here is another Grosetta. Again, I know the family. And let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's September 3rd, 1916, and that's the only date that's on there, and it says, In God's Care, I believe. I just love, <clears throat> excuse me, I just love the way these are arranged, In God's Care. Beautiful. And then here we have a wrought iron fence, so there are a lot of the graves that are protected in such a way and I, I'm, I'm just kind of I need to watch out for cactus and the brush I'm wearing a skirt as I usually am so let's see let's go to the next one here's something interesting some kind of step so again, I know that family. At least I know one person in that family. Let's see if this one will be, if there's anything in here. It looks like somebody's been here recently because I see um, shoe prints. So there's nothing. We've got the really amazing iron fencing, but no, there's nothing on the grave to identify who was here. Moving on, eternal rest grant unto them, O Heavenly Father. May they rest in peace and get to this next one without trotting upon cactus. Well, I could be here for hours. I want to find some. I've been here before, and that was really a nice one. I think uh, the the um, faithful departed was from Italy. Very ornate tomb. 
and it's so picturesque here very quiet and let's see what is this right here thankfully the brush is not too intimidating and now t-o-t-h that's all i see but it looks as if someone has been here and they have placed rocks so there's nothing behind me let me move forward see if I can find a grave that has a marker and this one only has cactus so I've watched a lot of the videos that have been uploaded by other youtubers and many of the people who comment talk about how distressed they are because the graveyards are not maintained. Well, that is a sad thing. And they also say that it saddens them greatly that the people buried therein are forgotten. Well, they're not forgotten. Look at what God has done in stirring within the, the hearts of many to go out to seek out grave graves and then and being present and talking about them and then uploading them so that people around the world can see them then those souls are represented god hasn't forgotten anybody and i think those who cremate themselves or have themselves cremate cre cremated well that's their business but i'm grateful that many still have themselves placed in a grave with a marker so again because then it gives those of us who like to pay visits to cemeteries to pay our respects, to pray for them and to search into history. They're here and we can visit them. Now look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Of course, there's just a cross in there. Who knows who this is, but God knows who, is it, who it is. And again, I do pray eternal rest be granted to them. I'm going to be out here for a while. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, making a video of as many of these graves that I can see. And I'm going to just stop and start so that the video will not go on for hours. And again, I thank everybody who has a love and respect for all peoples, for the living and for the deceased. We're here but a very short time and what we do will have an eternal effect on our life with or without God. Now here is one, thank you Lord. Let's look at this. Okay, I can't read it through the camera but it says Nicola, somebody, um, the 5th of April, 1896, and to 24 March, 1915. So here we have someone uh, reposing in this very ornate grave. And I'm going to back up, and I will resume in just a moment. with more graves visited. All right, starting up again. I'm gonna walk up this hill. Lord, <laughs> my guardian angels, please help me keep me safe. Do not let me trip and fall into these cacti. <laughs> Look at that, there's a whole group of all of these graves that are surrounded by iron. Look at that. Oh my goodness. God's natural fauna. <laughs> Flora. 
up the hill I go. And there are bugs out here too, so I hope they're not biting. All right, so we've got, um, they're here. God grant them eternal rest. No identifiers. Oh my goodness, oh here's one. Oh my goodness, there's several of them. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. I'm not a very good commentator, but oh my goodness, that's all I can say. And I'm also out of shape. All right, let's cross the street and look at this one. A lot of cactus, maybe it was a baby. And again, we're looking at the makeup of these grave fences. This one is just all protected by cactus. And let's see if I could see no name. But it looks as if that was a lamb at one time, which oftentimes uh, this will depict that it is the grave of a baby. I just love the details on this ironwork. And here we have a whole group of them. Let's go to the left, the leftmost. And we've got a cross, and that's the only thing there, and the one right next to it. See, there's a lot of work that has gone into these burial sites for these faithful departed. Concrete poured to have a little foundation and to surround like a little concrete fencing. And there is absolutely nothing in there but bushes, sticky bushes and trees. And let's see the one next to it. Hopefully I can come upon more graves that have markers. But again, look at this tiny one here. And again, very different. Looks like a acorn. And then look at the work of the fencing. And I can't see any markers in there, just bushes and rocks. And this one doesn't have the concrete fencing uh, for foundation or whatever, the concrete base. Oh, here we are. Let me come back here. Walking. Praising God for this opportunity. I go to work later today at 4. That's why I can't get to Holy Mass. But I'm going to, I am definitely praying for all these souls and receive Jesus in my heart as I ask Him to remain with me and ask Him to just envelop us all. We really need him. We need to turn to him. Because again, life is very short. Now here is, and I want to, I want all of us to be with Jesus. Peace. Where every tear will be wiped away. There will be no sickness. Any of that. And those who are suffering, please unite your sufferings with that of Jesus Christ. Suffering is redemptive. We should not be running away from it, even though I do regularly. <laughs> All right, so who is this? I, I can't see it uh, on my camera, but it says, died in Jerome, January the 9th, 1909. And that's about all I can get. Oh, and born in Italy. There was a, a subscriber who actually said when I was down there at the old Pioneer 
cemetery that, uh, of course, there were certainly many um, Mexicans buried there, but there are other nationalities. So here is the proof positive that there were others here and, you know, from Italy. Jerome in the background. Yeah, let's go over here. Something that has a flag on it. Again, walking. Oh, and a name, thank God. Let's look at this. Uh, car, men, and somebody's been up here. There are coins. Oops, and there's a really sticky bush. I can't get there. This, I guess this is where a selfie stick would do. Oops, I can't see it because of the shadow rats. Let's see here. And see those coins? And it looks as if someone set a candle there. And then there's some kind of flag. Mm, let's see. There's writing. Oops. Okay, there's writing around it. Died. Uh, let's see. Nine, there's a 1910 maybe born. Died. Who can't see that? Looks like there are a number of people. And then that flag. I don't know what that flag is. But thankfully, people come up here. So let me pause this and go on to the next grave.